our people, our leaders. Pray for our federal government. I pray for uh, the country's economy, Father. You know all about that. I pray for wisdom this morning as we delve into uh, all the programs and the funding for our people's needs. I pray that we'll be a kind and gentle uh, group here this morning and that we will have uh, their best interest in mind as we struggle with these figures and numbers. Give us wisdom and help us do a good job, Father, for our people. Pray for those that are sick and afflicted. Ask uh, that you look over our, our young people standing in harm's way this morning, protecting uh, the things that make our country great. Go with us now. Forgive us where we fail. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we roll call, please? Jack Baker? Here. Eric Cowan-Watt? Bill Engler? Here. Bill John Baker? Here. Harley Buzzer? Here. Julia Coates? <coughs> Cox? Joe Crittenden? Here. Jody Cox? <coughs> Here. Mary Fraley? <coughs> Janelle Fulbright? John Garvin? <coughs> Chuck Hoskin Jr.? Here. Hannah Glory Jordan? Present. Curtis Snell? Here. Chris David Thornton. Present. Thank you. We have the floor. Okay. Mr. I was told that the chair of the health committee requested that health go first, but since the chair is not here, we will go off. Just start with number one. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I had a request yesterday, or actually it was a week ago. Um, to generate a report on the general fund and the motor fuel tax fund, or two more discretionary types, of all the budgets that were either zeroed out in this budget or will be order a new accounting unit to this budget. So this, I'm going to pass these out. Now, keep in mind that, that some of these programs may have been transferred to other, uh, other budgets, other services, but that's what that is. Um, for the court. Uh, yes. I'm, uh, rather than starting back at the front of the book, I would like to start with Harley's group. Harley's area. The yeah. yeah. services. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. If, if there's no objection, the chair will. Are you on your own? Yeah, number nine. Ways. But we do tell you. Do we need to get the head of that okay. uh, here? Uh, Mr. Chair, yes. if we could do a sort of a, a list of how we want to go through these. I call the group leaders and ask them to come over here. Also, um, Charlie Soap is not available today. If we could postpone community services until tomorrow. Um, I mean, we could. I can bring um, Ashley Canoe over, his accounting manager. I honestly think Harley could uh, walk us through. Could walk us through any questions that we had. We can look to Harley to give us the answers. <coughs> Harley knows that budget inside out. We'll know about that. Why? Well, we might get okay. Um, up to that. I'm sorry. We we can call Charlie. So um, I thought he was out out this morning, but it's this afternoon. So I'll give him a call. So I'll, I'll go ahead and request that we start with Harley's area, which I think is number nine in the book. The question is, should we wait until the group leader gets here on that? We won't, if we start with number one, which is the chief's group, I believe. Mm -hmm. She just called, they just called Pat. Oh, okay. Well, let's start with one of them. They can, okay, them then we will start with community services. Have nine. <coughs> um, <coughs> on this total budget. There's $68 million in this budget, and there was approximately uh, $90 million in the current year budget. Uh, that decrease is uh, $13 million attributable to economic stimulus funds. 
500 for roads, and uh, and then three million decrease on Gen Fund and, and HUD for. Uh, and once we see the next the next year, um, I think there's one in 2010. There's one extra IHP in here than what we have currently so far in 2011. Um, and you know, also comment. I know I've said this every year, but but this particular <coughs> group budgets all of their entitled IRR roads funding. Um, you know, in regards of you know, we don't spend all that every year, so it it just stays out there as a big unexpended. But it is it is uh, uh, funded. It is in bank. Uh, here's the funding sources. You can see the DOI roads is the the amount of uh, description on the second chart there with what's distorting this. Community services has significantly reduced their salary and benefits here from uh, seven and a half million to about six and a quarter million. And uh, you can see that there's primarily vacant positions that's been trimmed out of their budget this time. 25 down to nine. Now the uh, I go into uh, to the departments, several departments in this group. The total group, as I said, is uh, um, significantly de decreasing, uh, but compared to 09, it's a 49 million dollar increase. And um, I'll get into that. Uh, we get into the service departments. The administration departments decreasing by 56 percent, both compared to budget and actuals. And it's the removal of all the general fund programs from the budget request. The community works, adult assistance, sports teams, livestock auctions, and in-area community mailings are all being um, removed from the budget. The USDA planning budget is also in here, or not in here, excuse me. Community development department is decreasing four and a half million dollars, and this is where we're seeing the removal of several uh, programs. On the HUD side, the building packages have a significant decrease. And on the general fund side, the tribal side, uh, they're being removed uh, of the programs, vol the volunteer program, the community garden, the community planning, and other general funds are being reduced, such as the rural fire station assistance by 61%, CADA. Uh, Councilor Baker? Uh, and I know Charlie's not here yet, but that in your deal, when you were going through everything, where they have reduced or taken away the community works, the adult assistance, the sports teams, the livestock auctions, uh, and the area, you know, community mailings. Has that been put in any place else? Not that I could tell. Got it. But okay. Um, let me get my list of the county units. The volunteer program was rolled in with CADA. In fact, I think that we actually did that in the 2010 budget. CADA took a significant right. reduction. Right, and we did reduce CADA. Um, a lot of their budget is subcontracts to community organizations, so we also reduced those subcontracts um, for 2011, you know, just slowing down the spending because of the reduced funding. The uh, community garden, that program, uh, we had community garden programs <coughs> in a couple of different areas. So the thought there is we're going to combine that into one uh, program, probably under the commerce group. Um, I believe natural resources also was doing a program with, um, with gardens. The community planning, that was match or grant with the USDA. That was a contract individual. That contract is not going to be continued in 2011. And um, even though it was under June Fund, right? It was it was matching a grant, uh, okay. the USDA planning grant. Okay. And then the um, at-large community activities. Uh, we're just requesting a reduction there, like we have with several of our budgets. Okay. The fire stations just going. Uh, $185,000 less. The fire stations we left in with a donation, but at a reduced level. Um, we had to make some tough decisions this year, <coughs> or tough recommendations, and um, that was one of the areas we felt it was important to still fund the fire stations as much as we could, but it's at a reduced level. Okay, 
Um, continuing with the community development department, obviously the budget to budget is significantly down. Now it is an increase over 09 actuals, uh, primarily because the actuals of 09 was significantly underspending the ISP building packages. Um, and the, 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 the building packages that's coming out of these Indian housing plans in 2008, to give, give you the idea of how much they're underspending, they spent 375000 on $5 million. And in 2009, the next year, they spent 1.4 million out of 6.2 million. Um, and in 2010, I think they're they're trending to underspend, but not quite at that at that level. So you know, again, that particular program has either taken a significant amount of time to get geared up, you know, several years to get geared up, or there's something else wrong with some other reason why these funds are not being obligated out in a timely fashion. The next department is engineering sanitation, water sanitation, has a $3.7 million decrease, almost a third of its budget is being cut. It is $4.8 million over the 09 spending level. Now, we have stimulus funds coming in, or that came in in 2010 that's not been repeated, and it's 1.7 of that $3.7 million decrease. The remaining $2 million is HUD funded waterline projects for $900,000. IHS funded projects for 700,000 and the following tribal funded project budgets, individual water sanitation, almost half its budget, 255,000 is being cut. Self-help community water lines, 76% of its budget or 650,000. And I did make a comment here, the only budget to increase in this department is the administration budget which increased them by 506,000. Doug, I'm looking at the expenses only on your sheet, and it shows just what you said about the individual water survey on 46%, community water line 76%, minus 62%, and it shows administration going up 24%. Yep. So we got rid of all the programs, but why did we increase administration if we got rid of all the programs? Why is it going up 24%? I, I can address that, I believe. That is under the IHS funding, and traditionally um, the accounting unit that says administration is where they bring forward their estimated carryover. This uh, particular budget is used not just for administration, it's used for planning if they have to hire engineers. Uh, there's a line in there um, for contracts. <coughs> Now, obviously, if that's not needed under administration, we would try to reprogram that to projects. Um, and I believe when Charlie gets over here, he can give you some more specifics on that. But that's not um, necessarily all being used for administrative. It's it's a lot of the upfront work that's required on the projects. Okay, Doug. In 2009, actual use on administration was a little over a million. In 2010, it was 2.1 million. No, that's the budget. That was the budget. Oh, okay, you're right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you need to go to the landscape report right behind that one to see what their historical spending. Page nine. Uh huh. Okay. In 2008, they spent 1.1 out of a 1.7. Left 500,000 unexpended. In 2009, they left 746 unexpended on a 1.8 million dollar budget, and they're projecting to leave 630,000 unexpended on a 2.1 million dollar budget. Okay. Now I will say that this particular that particular budget there in is requesting two new positions. What are the positions they're requesting? Because they cut everything that we do for the people. Why do we need more people? Minister, nothing. Got to grab my other report. Can you tell me what them? Now, can you tell us what them two positions are? Yeah, I'm um, shuffling papers. And these are new positions. Mm -hmm. Not vacant. These are new. Mm -hmm.
it is um, an engineer one, an engineer three. No, the news. Um, well, I've got yeah. mine all listed as you know, okay. the, unfilled positions. The two news are the is an environmental engineer and a budget analyst. Yeah. An environmental engineer. I may be wrong here, but I don't see why this budget can't take a half a million dollar hit and it go back into services for the people, direct services in this group. And uh, I ain't sure. I guess I need to make that in the form of a motion. Take about a half a million from there and put it on a different line item. What for a million? Is that yes. a, is that a uh, offer? Yes, it's for, on the second. I'll make that motion that we take a half a million from uh, admin in uh, community uh, services and set it aside till the end of the discussion so that we can put it back into direct services for the people. Harley, uh, may I also confer with Harley for a minute? Is that an area that you had identified? Uh, no, that's not one of the areas I've identified. If you see a problem with doing that. No, uh, but it is allowable. You know, if you have administration money from the yeah. NDL service, that you can go back and put it in the project. Yeah, yeah, I will put that in the form of a motion. Then. Our uh, friendly amendment. And, and Mr. Chairman, I, <coughs> I accept, and, and let me just say broadly, we've raised this issue, particularly Councilor Baker and Fishingock and Jordan, raised this issue of these unfilled positions, money essentially sitting there for a fiscal year not being used for services to people. I, I've heard it raised so many times, I've yet to hear a compelling reason from the administration why it should sit there. And it's been raised many times, and, and as it's been raised now, I see there's not, not much response. So on that basis, I wholeheartedly agree. So, Friendly amendment was requested by Councillor Jordan uh, that 500000 be removed from administration here and placed into other services in this area. So we need someone to start keeping track of the changes in the budget. Okay. And Todd is. Yeah, I, I, Mr. Chairman, what I'm going to do is just uh, uh, write down every motion that's made. And traditionally, what we've done is both that will be taking place periodically all the way through. At the end of the day, at the end of the, uh, uh, this process, we will uh, incorporate all those motions in into one final vote on, on, on the budget. Uh, and, and mindful under Robert's Rule of Borders, motions can be made and amended all the way through this process. But at the end, we'll take a final vote on whatever comes out of this, this process. Okay. Well, I wanted to be sure that someone was recording all of these changes. I, and I do want to clarify my intent is that that money stay within this department and be redistributed to the direct services that we cut. Keep in mind, this is IHS Compact Environmental Health Dollars. Okay, so I, I don't know what compact regs can come into play here with project, <coughs> what type of purposes these dollars can be expended. But this, I, I suspect this wouldn't carry the leniency that a gen fund dollar would carry. Okay, so. Yeah, I just want to make a point real quick that, you know, that this particular uh, cost center, I mean, we're talking about uh, services not being maybe delivered timely and things like that. I've got concerns about that. But then we talk about these two positions in particular, uh, engineers and budget analysts. And, I mean, I think that that's something that, that sounds like that's important to this particular area, that if you really want to start uh, expediting uh, the expenditure of funds that are intended for specific purposes that you would probably need all the engineers and budget analysts you can get in order to get that going. I think maybe Doug made a great point about the fact that if this you know, area has been kind of slow and, and moving, then I think that 
these particular positions may be needed to expedite and help better spend, better manage, uh, you know, these funds. So I would be cautious about just removing these particular two positions that we just discussed in this direction on uh, Thank you, Chair. Mr. Chair, if, um, I could let Ms. Canoe, Ashley Canoe, she's the uh, financial person for community services, address the overall question, which is we have an administrative budget that carry, holds the carryover for this program, and, and then as you go through the year and you're doing projects, some of that money may be moved to a specific project. But go ahead. Well, I can kind of explain a little bit. On our construction AU for um, water and sanitation, we get a letter every year from IHS explaining out particular projects in particular amounts for each of those projects as well as our scattered housing money. That all goes on the construction AU and everything else goes on the admin AU. Now there are projects that are done on the admin AU, but they're not specifically defined by IHS is the main difference between those two. <laughs> and what Ashley has said is essentially right. When I was in the program, you do get separate dollars for construction dollars, and those have to go to construction. What happens, you get administrative do dollars to run those construction projects. And what Ashley said is exactly right. You get, a, you get those dollars in the admin portion of the community services, the IHS Water and Sanitation, but it doesn't keep you from using some of these extra dollars to make a project if you have some carryover dollars left. And, and I think that's what the counselors over there are talking about, that we've seen uh, some carryover from the admin dollars. And, I, and I'll tell you what happened, the reason that that's in there is because we have hired a uh, contract engineer to the engineering for the water and sanitation for the last four or five years. That has saved a considerable amount of dollars. And what it looks like that uh, that Charlie and Billy are doing now is going to make it hard to engineer. Is that, is that the... Is that the case there? Possibly. One entry level engineer. One entry level engineer, which is good. You really need that engineer on staff sitting right there in the office instead of having an engineer that's in Salisaw or in Oklahoma City. So I don't fault them for that. Uh, it, it does look like it's a little top heavy to me uh, as far as the 500, but let's go ahead and leave the 500 sitting over there, then we'll take a look at it at the end of the, end of the uh, session here for community services. So that's basically how that program works. And I just confirmed that uh, there's a $400,000 increase on that one accounting unit in the contract service line. So the majority of that increase that's in this budget is just that, contracted services. I mean, it's for whatever. And, and I don't know what that is, and Ashley or Charlie may know. It may be to go ahead and contract with another engineer to do the engineering for water and sanitation and water line. So we've had one on contract for the last quite five years, I do know that. So. You're saving a considerable amount of money. When you contract those engineers out, you're saving, uh, well, you know, the overhead, the expenses, and fringe benefits and stuff like that. So it looks like they may want to bring an engineer on staff, which I think is a good idea. So I don't know. We might leave that 500000 sitting on the side and take a look at it later and see if, you know, we could use part of it and, and if we want to go back and put our budgets up. So I would advise to leave it sitting there for now. <coughs> I, I think what I'm hearing from Doug then is that there's a projected $631,000 going to be left in that budget from 2010. And so we would have 131 that we're not touching anyway. And there's another 400 that's coming into it. So essentially, they're back at their half a million even if we put the half a million to the side to be used on direct services. So I, I think it's a, it, it, it really is a win-win for everyone. There is a half a million there just kind of floating around, and we're just capturing it for some direct services to the people. So I, I would hope that we, well, and they've accepted, uh, they've accepted my amendment, so I would hope that we could... Uh, I think we can do it without hurting Charlie's group. I think the money's still there for the engineer. I think the money is still there for the budget analyst. Okay. Okay. Councilor Buzzer. And if I may, uh, Doug, are you, are you 
Do you want to do more on the presentation? Or? Um, yeah, I had a couple more departments uh, within this group okay, to go, go ahead over. Now. I'm not going to okay. Uh, the housing department, uh, this, this only contains self-help emergency assistance budget in 2011. Um, does not reflect any continuing funding from past IHPs for construction and youth development programs as it did in the past. So you're, that's why those reductions are showing up. Uh, the roads department, 12 million less than the 2010 budget because of the uh, economic stimulus funds from uh, DOT in the amount of 10 million. And it's 44 million over the 09 actual, which again, it's 40 of the 44 is due to budgeting all the entitled road money. That's all I have, uh, Harley, uh, okay. on that group. <coughs> well, let me uh, let me just lay some things out here for us to think about. And Doug and Callie, you can correct me because I may be wrong on some of the ideas that I've had. But if we'll take a look at uh, we'll take a look at the uh, roads portion of this uh, worksheet. And if you'll look at the uh, line item on motor vehicle, motor vehicle tax, line item 105-2010, Motor Vehicle Highway Administration. It'll be page 7, Harley, in the book. Okay, okay. page 7. Yes, sir. Lower right-hand corner, page 7. Take a look at that, and I was working off my worksheet that I had. Doug, that's the reason I didn't look at that. But anyway, hope. What uh, if you'll take a look at that line item there? There's 394, it's almost 400 thousand dollars in that line item. And if you go back and look at the historical spending of that line item, it's been about 94 thousand dollars. And I suspect that we could free up 300 thousand dollars in that particular line item right there to to maybe move around within the community service budget to stay within that budget. Excuse me, Harley. Which line? It's uh, 105 2010 Motor Vehicle Highway Administration. Okay. There's 394, almost 400 thousand dollars, and historically we spent about 95 thousand. I think we could free up 300 thousand from that the line. Now, keep in mind this is a compact uh, service right here. Motor Vehicle Tax is compact of services. You can only spend those dollars for major and minor collector roads when it goes into the roads program. So what I would propose to do is actually take $300,000 out of that line item and move it back up into the line item of uh, motor fuel tax. Doug, if you can track this stuff for me, I would appreciate it. But I don't know that uh, I think we can do this. What I'm going to do is move that $300,000 up into the motor fuels tax. Take 300000 from that motor fuels tax and then we'll distribute that to other line items within the community service budget. And the reason I'm saying that is because the motor vehicle tax is a compacted item and they have to be spent on minor and major collector roads. That's, that's in the compact and I certainly don't want to deviate from that fact. What this will do is going to cause a little bit more paperwork for our administrative staff to track that 300000 because we're going to move it up into the motor fuel tax allocation. But it can be done, I think. Callie, are you with me so far, what, what I'm trying to do here? I, I think so. Um, so basically you're proposing to take 300000 from the motor vehicle tax, highway administrative, uh -huh. move it up to uh, motor fuels tax. Yes. That would have to be administered separately so that it complies with the motor vehicle. Compact. Compact. Exactly. And that then, reduce our regular allocation from motor fuels tax by 300000 so that it could be used in other areas? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can we achieve the same thing by just moving it from motor vehicle highway administrative to motor vehicle highway construction? Increase that by 300000 reduce the um, motor fuels tax roads from a million to 700 and we, I mean we'll basically be in the same place but you would track it according to the funding source um, and like you said the the compact for motor vehicle requires minor and major collector roads what do you think Doug? 
it'd probably be cleaner. We don't have to do interfund transfers that way. Mm -hmm. So we would just make sure I understand this right. Reduce the vehicle tax by three hundred. Yes. Okay. Um, admin. Uh -huh. Increase the construction vehicle tax by three hundred. So we're just shifting admin dollars into road construction. Okay. Fuel tax would be reduced construction budget would be reduced three hundred. So the construction side of the equation is intact. Right. You still have the So we have the net reduction on admin and then fuel taxes <coughs> that gets freed up by the reduction of their construction roads would go into whatever other other and, other programs, and, programs. And, and that's all right. Uh, the only thing of it is get you the same place. I think some some things, uh, and I think it could be spent because the major and minor collector roads are a little bit more difficult to find than your local road to spend fuel tax on. They're easy to spend dollars on fuel tax, but your uh, vehicle tax is a little bit more stringent. Although I think it could be done. Yeah. That d doing it that way um, <coughs> might make it easier for us to keep track and make sure that. Uh, I'll, let, me, let me back up. If we were to actually transfer it over to motor fuels, then we'd have to keep in mind when we're doing the fuel tax road report that yeah. 300,000 of those obligations have yeah. to be major minor. I see what, yeah, it'd, it'd be more simple. It would be, I think it'd be easier, yeah. And then and then from the 300,000 that we'd be reducing the motor fuel tax, I'd have some ideas here, and, and I want to just say, you know, I've looked at this budget, and, I, and I'm willing to... <coughs> To even say that the, I'd like for the council, for this committee to consider of leaving the bridge fund down to 115,000. That's 50 percent is what it was years ago. It, it shows at least that we're trying to help comply with trying to balance this budget too. So I would recommend that we leave 112,000 off of that uh, bridge bridge fund. Before it was like 225,000, I think, and it was presented this time at 112. But I think it shows a good faith effort from this committee that that we are trying to reduce the budget also. The other okay. thing that I'd like to... Uh, Mr. Henry. Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, you know, uh, we had a, a motion that was uh, made by a, a council uh, person, uh, uh, Jordan, and it was ex uh, accepted as a friendly amendment on the main motion. Uh, however, you know, we have often used friendly amendments in the process, you know, in committees to streamline. But technically, you know, and in the past, you know, in all in, in, in budget hearings, every motion has been voted on, and whatever the collective body is goes into the uh, the budget as a whole. Now, friendly amendments technically, um, you know, um, can be accepted by the author, but they need to be treated as the same as amendments unless approved by you know by unanimous consent of the body. I, you know, would you take this out as, uh, as a friendly amendment? The, per, the, the, the author says yes. If there's no objection from anyone, it just it goes on and you streamline the process. But in, in, in during this process, and as we've done in the past, we have taken a vote on each motion. So it would be my recommendation that each time a motion is made that you take a vote on it. Okay. And the chair agrees. So therefore... And we will go back to this motion that you made to take 500,000 out of administration. It's <clears> take <throat> 500,000 out of admin in uh, community, community services to be put aside and folded into the recommendations that I think Harley's going to make here in just a, just a few minutes. But do you want to hold off on that motion until he makes those recommendations? That'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Because there wasn't an official second to it, which is why I'm asking. Well, Harley, take that. Can can I confer here just for a minute? Harley, take that 500000 and fold it into what we talked about. Okay. And we make it do some more. Okay, let me go ahead and, and finish up with the 300000 yeah, that like to <laughs> Realign some of those dollars. Okay. Then do we do we need to make that as a motion, the 300000 well, I, I would like to just wait on the three hundred thousand until I'm until I say where the rest is going to go into those lines. Okay, so you would to make one motion for the yes. services. Okay, and, and I then think we will hold I think his one motion will include the five hundred that we've been okay. talking about. Okay, what what I would propose to do out of this three hundred thousand dollars is to go back to our Cherokee sports team, which is zeroed out. And the reason I'm doing and the reason I'm saying this is. 
we have allocated dollars to other educational benefits to kids. Uh, these sports team kids work with showing animals, showing pigs, showing lambs and goats, chickens and whatever. And these are mostly farm no, kids from rural areas. So no, that's livestock. Okay. Not the sports team. Okay, right. I'm on, okay, uh, this is livestock I'm talking about then. But uh, the reason I'm saying this, I think it's a good program. I was in a, a courtroom the other day and I heard a judge say, I've never had a kid that comes from 4-H or FFA that has been up there on drug charges. And to me, that really rang a bell. Because right now, we're putting millions and millions of dollars in well, anti math, and I just thought, this is a good place to start. If we can keep the sports team up and get kids involved, I think it's going to help. So what I was proposed to do on the livestock auction, before there was $39,000 into that uh, particular line item. What I'd like to do is put $20,000 back in that and we'll just have to cut the premiums down a little bit. Okay, which page and which line item? Okay, it's on page five. Probably funded on the top of the page. It's 101-0026. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Last year we almost what? Forty-five? Okay. Twenty-two. Last year we had twenty-five. We budgeted thirty-nine thousand last year. Okay. Now I want to move up to the sports team, and I also think this is a a good good place to put some money because right now you know we're talking about healthy nations, healthy people. We have kids that goes into these sports sports teams, and they actually get out and run, jump, and play. And a lot of times, that's all the activity those kids get. So I'd like to move uh, uh, a thirty thousand over into that account, and that would be down from fifty thousand last year. Mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit about the self-help water line. <coughs> those are good programs. What happens? It's on page six, uh, about a quarter of the way down at 1010432 Self Help Community Water Line. Mm -hmm. There's 200,000 into that, and what happens with this money that goes in there? It's, it's matched money that matches Indian Health Service dollars or USDA dollars or wherever they can get grants from. What happens now is in the last 30 years, we have put water lines in there where we have a large concentration of Indian folks. What you're looking at now is a, is a concentration is not near as heavy, and then when they submit these budgets to the Indian Health Service, they don't get scored as high. They all score by the by rating point, and if you don't have extra dollars to match it, you're never going to get funded for water lines anymore. So that's the reason I would say this is an important project, because we used to say, when I was in the program, if I had a million dollars of travel funds, we could actually generate a million dollars of grant money out of Indian Health Service. So, well, what I'm proposing right now is to put a hundred thousand out of this three hundred thousand into that line. Hundred thousand. Well, we can do that later. I'm just going to no, work it. I missed. It's already got two in it. Okay, yeah, well, the main deficit is 300000 Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, I just wanted to remind the body as far as these donations, um, there is approximately 46000 on the table that we could use to fund those two if that is where the priority is. And um, I yeah, just, just wanted to let you know that, uh, you yeah, know, the chief doesn't ex object to any of those donations. It's just we had to make reductions and... Uh, those were some of the areas that we reduced. Councillor um, Jordan brought up a good point yesterday that I hadn't thought about on the livestock auctions. By the time carryover comes forward, we may not have um, you know, enough time to make those donations. So I just wanted to point that out as a potential um, source to fund those two particular activities since they seem to be more time sensitive than maybe some of our <coughs> others, which could, could wait until we bring carryover forward. Some clarification, please. On the water lines, are we talking line 431 or 432? 432. Okay, thank you. 
And then, uh, I don't know what that adds up to on the 300 pounds, but what I'd like to see, and, and I don't know. Uh, You've got three of them so far, right? Yeah, three of them so 20, far. 20,000, 30,000, and 100,000. Yes. Yeah. And there's, uh, there's another program that I think was really good for the people that live out in rural areas. Not in rural areas, but in all areas that, that had cut, been cut this last year, and that's what we call the Emergency Assistance for Water and Sanitation. Uh, that old budget line item used to be funded out of the OCHR program that the uh, Water and Sanitation program got. What they have now, they have two positions that are paid through the CHR program, but they have taken the other dollars away and put them over into some other program. I'm not sure where it went. But I would propose, and I'm not sure what we call this, actually, you can, Mike, can help me. But I'd like to put $60,000 over into that program to help uh, with putting pumps in wells, a pressure tank, or a, uh, anything that, that, that could help some of these people. Because it's hard for them to come up with three to $500 all at once to fund those particular projects. But if we could put 60000 over into that, you know, that would take us up to it. Well, we need a line item. I don't have a line item for it. There's not a line item for it. Would that not fit with individual water and sewer? Well, we could do that if you put it in with tri yeah, tribal funds. Yes, that's the yeah, tribal that's the, funds. We could do that. We could put it into water and sewer. Well, that would be 1010431. The line right above the one you just talked How about. How much is the I put uh, six, another 60000 in it. And the reason I didn't I didn't propose increase to the individual water and sewer is that we've got three hundred thousand in it right there, and I was really kind of wait until the carryover come in in March or April and see if we need some more dollars. We get funded out of those, but but since we have more money, I don't know. It's up to this committee. Harley, will you your yes, question? Yes. Some of my people they're already out of money and they've been out of it for two or three months. How much do you think we're going to be able to hold come October the first? Wait until March. Well, actually, with this here, it'll have 360,000 in it from you know, this budget. This budget passes. So if we don't carry over, we won't run out again. Wait well, I was, I didn't think we would. Really, you, know, you never know, but you know we might. And so now we're to the point to where uh, there's some more dollars just left out of the 300,000. I'm not sure what that number is. 90,000. Uh, 90, 90, 90, that 90,000. Oh, 90. You're right. So 90 left. Well, and it, well, it's just out of 300,000. And I really didn't have any more uh, recommendations to move those dollars. And I want to leave that up to the committee. Uh, but what I wanted to do then, and, and, well, what I'll do now is go ahead and take this 90,000. We'll just, I'll just go ahead and soon put it over into the uh, individual water and sewer. And so we just zero to 300,000 now. So that's 160,000. 150, 131. So 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. Sports teams, we've done, uh, sports teams 24 is what we've projected. Why don't, why don't we uh, do both of them 25-25 and that'll cover everything from last year? You have them 20 and 30. Okay, so then we would just reduce 30 to 25. Yeah, and, the other, and just okay. equal amount. I think then you've covered both of them. 25? 25-25. Yeah. Uh, uh, 25, 25. On livestock and sports. Okay. And then there's just a couple more things that, that I want to bring up because I may want to do this in a motion, that motion too. <coughs> yes, someone, Ms. Fishing Hawk had a question. Kelly just now said that they was 46,000 on the table, and that would just about cover your sports teams and livestock. She said it's out there already. I didn't know. I didn't know where that was. She said it's out there on the table. Doug. Kelly, you said there was 46,000, but where is that? It's the surplus. If you look at the slide, um, oh, that's out of the total budget, yeah. okay. there's 46 that is un and all the not, not requested. Right. It's up to the committee. I don't care. 
The, the other thing that, that I want to uh, bring up and and maybe have some discussions because I really don't know what we could do about this. And Kelly, you may can help us with the C&E inspection. There's about 165,000 that's budgeted out of the tribal funds, and I understand we were getting a contract with the gaming commission to free up those dollars. That that budget assumes that the income would be coming in on a C&E contract. If okay. you look at the sources. Now, um, since that budget was done, I think the amount is going to actually be a lot less than that. So that'll be a it'll be a modification, probably in mod one or two, to reduce the income and reduce the expenses there. But it's one of those that will be self-funded. We're okay. not using other um, sources to fund that. Okay. So we can. Uh, so this may be some dollars that's coming in at not another time that we can look at. On the mod tank, though. Well, it's no, a wash, it, right? it's a wash. It'll be a wash. It'll okay. be a wash. Okay. The other thing is, uh, we talked about the emergency system for the old CHR fund, and we'd have to put that into water and sanitation emergency. Other than that, that's that's kind of the allocations and what I've looked at this budget. I know uh, volunteer program. I think it was explained a while ago that rolled in the Cotta because I think that was a good program. Uh, community gardens. Uh, I really have some, I don't know, it may work in, in commerce because I think we do deal with those people. Uh, community planning, and I, that was a good program, but I understand it was a match, match dollar from a grant that we got from USDA, so that's kind of gone. I really like that program because it really helped a couple of small communities to get some planning on the board. Uh, one is uh, Marble City was a good project down as we did, so, uh, and, and I know we have to cut, so, uh, and I'm really on the, willing to take those cuts. The other thing is the bridge program, I want to explain to this committee, that it's cutting, it's cut in half. This year it'll be 112000 what it proposed. And I really don't have a big problem with that because I think this committee needs to show some restraint on cutting budgets also. So I think that would help too. But, and hopefully if the uh, revenues come back up, we can go back and put that into the program again. So that's, uh, that's all I have to propose on this budget. So, uh, so your motion is going to be three hundred thousand from which line item? Uh, the EHS administration. Mm -hmm. Oh, three hundred will come from one hundred five. The motor vehicle administration line item. Three hundred thousand. Okay, this is what we've got. We've got uh, three three hundred thousand. That's from one hundred five two zero one zero motor vehicle roads administration. What we would do is move it to uh, 300,000 to 105-2000 to uh, motor <coughs> vehicle road construction. Okay, then we're going to take... Then you're uh, moving, you said 333, Yeah, we're moving 300 out of the Motor Vehicle Roads Administration and moving 300 into the Motor Vehicle Construction side. Oh. And we're taking 300000 out of the 102-2020, that's motor fuel tax road construction. And then we're allocating that 25000 to the livestock auction, which is 101-0026. Which, you're taking that from which? From the motor fuel what tax. Line item? That'd be 102-2020. That's motor fuel tax road construction. That's 300000 from that line item. Then we're moving 25000 to the livestock auction, which is 101026. 25000 from to the sports team, that's 101025. And then 100000 to 101432. That is a uh, the water line construction, self help water line, and then 150,000 to 101431 individual water and sewer. And that will take up to 300,000 that we we're removing out of the tax line item. Okay, then, then we're going to go ahead and reduce the uh, the 333-1000 budget by 500000 uh, that's set aside for the Indian Health Service TEH administration. Now we need to look what we're going to do with those dollars there. 
would you want to make this other motion of three hundred thousand, and we'll take care of it first? Yes, we'll take care of the three hundred thousand dollars first. Okay, you want to? I'll make that motion. Second. If okay. I'm permissible, make the motion to chair that committee. Okay. Pardon? I'm not sure that I can make that motion since I'm chair of that committee. No, you can. Okay, well, I'll make that motion. Well, he, he can make it. Yeah, I'll make the motion that we do that. And, and Joe seconded it. Okay. So we're removing that from uh, motor fuel tax. The reserves. You said you moved it from. Okay. What well, basically? Ten twenty-two oh twenty. Yeah. Basically, what this is doing is moving uh, three hundred thousand from uh, the Motor Vehicle Road Administration over to the Motor Vehicle Motor Fuel Tax line item. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Motor Vehicle Road Construction line item. That way, we're not uh, getting away from what the compact says. We're moving it from the Motor Vehicle Tax Administration. Highways Administration, 300,000. Yes. And we're putting it into the Motor Vehicle. So we're leaving, which is now 394,000, right at 395,000. Mm -hmm. We're paying 300,000 away and leaving it at 95,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're okay. moving the 300,000 over to the Motor Vehicle Road Construction. And we're reducing the Motor Fuel Tax Road Construction by 300,000. And then that's where we're putting all these other line items in, the livestock, the sports tank. What? Are you clear on this, Todd? Okay. Yeah, I believe that I am. Okay. okay. Would, you, okay. would you repeat it, please? $300,000 will be moved from the Motor Fuels Tax Roads Administration. Which is line item. 105 to 105-2010. Uh, 2010, yes. 2010. Over to Motor Fuels Tax Roads construction. Okay, and the uh, uh, account AU number on that is. Okay, is Yeah, uh, yeah, is 105-2000. Okay, it's 105-2000. Okay. And then from 105-2000, we are taking 300,000. That is going to be divided as follows: 100,000 to self-help water line. Um, ten now, Harley's got Doug's list. And yeah, from yeah, self-help water line. Yeah, no, but it's been from the road construction. Taking from Mr. motor fuels. Let Doug read off. Okay. Well, Okay, well, I got that wrong. Then. So we're moving it from one. Well, there's a from <laughs> <laughs> All these AU units. Okay. Not where they're supposed to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. To summarize, the 105 2010 motor vehicle road admin reducing by 300. Yes. The offsetting increase is on the 105 2000 mm -hmm. motor vehicle tax construction. Same time, the motor fuel tax road construction is being reduced by three hundred thousand. The one hundred two twenty twenty, and the following are all going up: twenty five thousand to the ten ten zero two six livestock options, twenty five to the ten ten zero two five sports teams, one hundred thousand the ten ten four thirty two self help water lines. And the balance 150, adding to the 1010 431 individual water and sanitation. Okay. Um, so, can I make a comment, Mr. Chair? Yes. Just, it's just a question because I'm, I'm unclear in my mind of if this is possible. But and Harley, um, you or the program people would be the appropriate ones to try to answer this. But if environmental health is being set aside for five hundred thousand dollars out of the uh, water sanitation environmental health admin budget and that budget can be utilized to do projects that I, that uh, IHS didn't what's the specify. word specify 
then can those dollars not be used for self-help water line or individual water sanitation? I don't really know the answer to the correct answer to that, but I would think it could be used for either one. But now that, that's the reason I you're talking about the five hundred thousand. I'm talking about the five hundred thousand. Okay, the reason well, I'm bringing, but if I want to get this motion out of the way first. Well, it's it's kind of germane to that motion. Okay. The comment is, uh, Mr. Chairman, because the, the what you're two hundred and fifty thousand of the three hundred you're talking about, if it could go, then that two fifty you freed up wouldn't have parameters that would restrict it like the 500 will. Hey, you see my right. point? The 500 has got, got some restrictions on it because you really couldn't go out and spend those dollars like the tribal dollars that's in there now because there's certain limitations that you can spend IHS dollars on and that's new construction or like new construction. So you really couldn't go out and just replace somebody's pump. I don't, I don't think you can do that. Okay. So. Okay. And then, uh, that was the comment. The environmental health has to be, um, the, first of all, the clients have to be IHS S eligible and has to be an IHS eligible project. So that's, that's why some of these um, initiatives were funded through Gen Fund to have a little bit more flexibility on it. And she's absolutely right. We have to be careful about the 500000 how those dollars are spent now. I right. do know if there's a water line, that could right. probably be a eligible cause to, to spend those eligible. dollars. But now the motion that we're dealing with is the motor fuel tax on motor vehicles. Yeah, there's no change in the motor. I just thought there might be some opportunity to free up some more discretionary funds. We won't want to put unnecessary restrictions on ourselves. At, at this point, the motion stands. You know, the, dis the discussion is really not germane to the motion. Right. At this point, I, it may be later, but I, I agree. Okay. Are, are we to discussion? Okay. The motion has been made and seconded. How's it not? That we move 300,000 from 102-2010 to 105-2000, and then we move 300,000 from 102-2020. To 101026, 101025, and to 101 and to 101,432, 150,000. Yes. One, one more, and we're still in discussion. What, uh, Callie and Doug, listen to this proposal here. Maybe we can do something a little bit different. The 500,000 that's been proposed by the councils over here from the IHS administrative <laughs> budget. Let's take 250000 of that and put into the individual water and sewer. We know that that's a legal expenditure for, the, for extending water lines. And we could free up $250,000 in tribal funds to go into other discretionary, discretionary line items. Because that, that's a legal expenditure to take two hundred and fifty from that 500000 that they have talked about and put it in specifically for water line construction. Those, that's a legal move. But, isn't, that's, but it that's still has to remain within environmental health, and yes. it has to yes. remain within all of the IHS yes. requirements. Yes. So I'm not seeing how that frees up any. But, and it has that relate to the current motion. Well, subject to money. You can't put it down there. Well, you can't take it out of that funding source. No, no, no. Right? I'm not saying it's clear. No, we need to get this taken care of. No, put it into the water line. The water line? Water line expenses. No, you can't do that. No discretionary dollars or something. We could use federal funds on it. Right, and it can't be used for that. Only. That was my whole point. Right. Call for the question. Tribal dollars or something. Okay. Point of clarification. I think I. Okay, what's your point of clarification? Well, I think what he's trying to do is put the 250 in 101432. Is that right, Harley? Yes, yes. Uh, and free those gin fund dollars up and set those to the side. And I, I think if we were going to give him an opportunity, he was going to make that part of his motion. Well, you know, uh, I think we'd probably kick this around enough and probably need to vote on the thing, but... What I would propose to do is just go ahead and leave the 200000 or whatever we got in there for the tribal dollars 
and add 250,000 from that ITS administration, which would really put that up there. Which would be managed with grants then. Yeah. Okay. But that's going to be a separate motion for what we already have. Okay, that'd be fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Well, and if I may, on this uh, 333 -1000, we can we can specify what we want that money used on, but we can't transfer it out of that accounting unit to 1010 okay, four three two. That's, that's, that's not part of this that's motion. That's what I'm saying. We're, we're not. That's not part of this okay. motion. So we're going to vote on this motion, which is to move three hundred thousand from one hundred two twenty ten to one hundred five two thousand, and then we're moving three hundred thousand. From 102 2020, we're moving 25,000 to 10, 10 26, 25,000 to 10, 10, 25, 100,000 to 10, 10, 432, and 150,000 to 10, 10, 431. Water clarification? Yes. And, and I'm not trying to hold it up, and, and I know you're trying to get this passed and, and all that, but my clarification is there's a better way to do it that that makes it work better and makes it make more sense, why wouldn't we take just a couple of minutes and listen to Callie? And and uh, I, I don't think anybody's got any ownership of, uh, of they just want it done. And if, if we take two minutes here, we might save all kinds of headache down the road. Now, does that make sense or? Well, but the other okay. was a separate issue to other, we can still move from one accounting unit to another if we need to in another motion. But we need to okay. get this one taken care of. So all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay. One opposed. Are, are you making notes this aye. time? Yes. Okay. So now what is the other proposal? I'm going to go ahead and do what, what I propose to do, and Callie, you can help me here, is the 500000 that the council has set aside from the IHS administration, go ahead and take 250000 of that and put into the uh, uh, South Health Community Water Line. So basically what we're talking about there is, is not moving any money, but within this IHS funding source, making that a priority that 250 of this would be used for um, self-help self water bottles. Yes, and that's a legal, that's a legal right. place. And, and, and correspondingly, a reduction of the same amount? No, no we just leave it. Yeah, I just okay. leave it. So, yeah. probably fun to so self help water lines would have the 250 you're talking about here, along with the 100 <coughs> that was the previous motion yeah. and whatever was in the yeah, budget. It'd to bring it up to okay. right. 500 or something like that. Yeah. So, I, I here, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Ashley or Charlie. This accounting unit, Environmental Health Administration, it's a little bit of a misnomer. <coughs> because it's not just admin. What it is is separating the dollars that are not specifically identified in our compact to a project. Those dollars can still be used on projects, but we don't have them over with the construction money because there's separate uh, reporting requirements on the construction money. IHS has approved those project by project similar to how they um, do the IRR roads project by project. So there is some discretion, some flexibility on this admin. So I think that half million dollars has been identified as money um, that can be used for these initiatives such as water and sanitation and self-help water lines. And then in Harley's committee, um, the, the group can report on that each month how how those funds are being distributed or, or used, if that's agreeable. So, in effect, it doesn't mean that there's a budget change. It's the will of the council that this half million be used on these projects. And I don't think that's inconsistent with how the program has been operated in the past. So we're not changing anything from any accounting unit there? Not from my perspective. You're, you're you're earmarking 250 of that budget for a specific purpose in right. motion. So I think we do need to document the purpose. We of the need vote. to document yeah. the purpose. Yeah. The purpose. Yeah. So I need to second. <coughs> okay.
Okay. So you're making a motion of 250000 of administration be used for self help water lines. Self help water lines. Yep. Okay. And Joe seconded. Okay. Okay, Carly. Since we're moving three, three, that over three, there three, and we're worried about money and freeing up gen fund this budget cycle. Back into it. I'm wanting to take a friendly amendment to take the two hundred of gen fund dollars in there that's already in there and pull them back out and drop it into rural fire departments where they zeroed it out. Well, let's let's take care of this one motion first. Okay, the motion is to designate two hundred fifty thousand from three 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 one thousand to be used for self-help community water lines, but we're not moving it to any other accounting unit. But it's to be used for self-help. Yes. Okay. So that's the motion, and it was second. Is there further discussion on that? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. <laughs> now, another <coughs> item. Okay. Rural fire departments has took a great hit, and I'm trying to find them on here right now. <coughs> and I'm wanting to make a motion. To take the 200,000 in gin fund out of the 1010432, there's 200,000 in gin fund dollars up there, and move it over to rural fire departments. And there's another thing that I'll ask about, it's called adult assistance. We have it, it's our answer to the kids' community youth grant application. We had stipulations on it that stated they had to be in school to be able to get the money. Since then, just last month, I think it was, I'm not quite sure, it might have been Paula said, that they removed the criteria that they have to be in school. They can do the volunteer hours, do the work, and fill out the application, go to the little classes, get the money for them. But it's not been used because of the school criteria attached to it. Since then, Paula and them have removed it. And if you look at it, Nobody used it because nobody could get to it. It was 18000 was all that was used in this past month or two. And I want to drop some of the money in there because our adults are just now finding out about the program. So out of the 200000 that can be moved out of there, I would like 100 of you. What was the fire department drop down? 120 less. It usually does about 280. So it would be 150 in fire departments and then 50 back to the adult assistance to bring the fire departments back up to what they were. And I'll make it the form of a motion. Second. So you're saying moving 200,000 from 1010 432 self help community water lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. To rural fire stations 1010 465 under community development. Mm -hmm. And how much to the 150? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the other to ten ten four thirty nine is the other one. Which is fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Which is the community adult assistance. Okay. It's not on here because they zeroed it out for the year. Okay. And did not include it. Mm -hmm. Anybody get is on here? Which is the second page, Jody? I've already seconded it. Uh, it's 10, yeah. 10, 4, 3, 9. Yeah, it's top of page 5. And how much is the rule 65? Well, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. 150. Uh -huh. What's the name of the rule? Rule fire department. 150. Bring it back up. They got it to 120. Okay. It was 305. Sorry, I'm bringing it to 270. Let's see, actual 209 was 280. I can't hear. I don't have to bring it to 270. 
and but the 46 on the table would bring up the fire departments, 150, that put 46 more in there. How much would it like then, David, to be in hole? Okay. So the motion to remain seconded to take 200,000 from 1010 432, which is privately funded self help community water lines, and move 150,000 to 1010 465 rural fire stations, which is privately funded, and to 1010 439 community adult assistance, which has also been privately funded, 50,000. So is there any further discussion on this motion? Well, just a point of clarification. Can I direct this to Harley? Okay. Sure. Harley, the money that we're going to use out of 333-1000, which is that Indian, uh, Indian Health Service self-governance, that we were going to use up here in uh, uh, the 1010-432, which we're now taking the 200000 from, It'll essentially have the same rules. The same. Just when we use the tribal dollars. Ask me that again. I, I okay. Uh, we were designating on three 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 one thousand. We're designating that money to be used for the self-help community water lines. Okay. Then we're taking the self-help community water lines the tribal funds and we're putting it back in the fire department and adult assistance. My question to you is on 333-1000, that money, can, will it carry essentially the same rules that 1010-432 carry? It'll have to carry the same. It'll, it can only be used on, on like community water lines. Okay, so it'll be basically the same program no, we had last year. No, excuse me, Ashley, I'll recognize you. No. Because she's shaking her head no. I'm sorry, because it's IHS funds, it'll have to follow IHS rules. <coughs> we don't have near the flexibility <coughs> with the IHS as we do the tribal funds. Now, <coughs> if we take 200000 then from 1010-432, Will that still leave 100000 of tribal funds in there? I think it will. Okay. So there's still tribal funds that don't have to have the rules, and then there's going to be IHS funds that will have to have yes. some we'll additional we'll rules. We'll the IHS guidelines. And then if we find we're low when we hit the carryover, we can put some more possibly tribal funds in it. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I understood that. Okay. No further discussion. All those in favor of this motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Motion to here. Okay. Is there anything else in community services? If not, if there's no objection, the chair will declare a 10 minute recess.